Virtual Assets Regulatory Authority of the city has allegedly pledged a set of regulations before the end of the year, according to cryptocurrency companies. Welcome to CryptoLink channel. If you love getting news and updates about cryptocurrency, join our community by subscribing to our channel. You can tap the bell icon to never miss our new videos. If you enjoy our channel, kindly like and share it with your friends. November 9, 2022. Coindesk tweeted. Dubai's Virtual Assets Regulatory Authority has promised a crypto framework before year-end, sources say. At Lavender underscore reports. Dubai is actively seeking out cryptocurrency firms to establish offices there, however the Middle Eastern country is not yet ready for them. Uncertain regulations make it difficult to open even the most basic of bank accounts at the moment. According to two people who spoke to Coindesk, Dubai's Virtual Assets Regulatory Authority or VARA, a specialized industry regulator, has promised local businesses that a detailed regulatory framework will be available by the end of the year but has still not made it public for businesses to use in the creation or launch of products. The regulator, which was only formed seven months ago, had already released certain regulations on virtual asset advertising and marketing. Wealth funds from the United Arab Emirates and the larger region are investing in cryptocurrencies, and a significant portion of these funds are already registered in Dubai. Companies believe VARA will be more accommodating than other countries, where licensing may be a long process. After all, the area is already a main destination for business tourism. It is frequently commended for having a low tax rate, being close to talent centers like Pakistan and India, and making it easy to get employee visas. The city is attempting to welcome the cryptocurrency industry. It declared that it wanted to grow into the top metaverse economy and bring about 40,000 virtual employments. The UA is simultaneously attempting to remove itself off the Financial Action Task Forces or FATF Grey List that is maintained by the Paris-based Financial Authority. It is being monitored more closely as it strengthens its anti-money laundering program. Lawyers are cautious of the pre-regulation period. Blockchain and digital asset partner at Keystone Law Dubai, Irina Heaver, stated. You can't have hope for something you've never read, can you? She also said that before she learns about the regulations and applications of VARA, she is already cultivating her customers elsewhere. As a result of the lack of oversight, less savory aspects of the cryptocurrency sector, such as YouTubers that promote cryptocurrencies to their viewers and other ventures that engage in fraud or underhanded tactics, have relocated to the city. Heaver claimed that because the UAE has so many unrestricted zones, it is unfortunately simple to traverse and disguise. She wants to see the industry regulated. Some of the main exchanges for cryptocurrencies have already received minimum viable product or MVP licenses from VARA. A remarkable example is Binance, which withdrew its applications in other jurisdictions, receiving a minimum viable product license in September. Exchanges are permitted to provide a complete spectrum of services, encompassing futures, leverage, and spot. Some services are not included, like cryptocurrency loans provided by exchanges. Companies are being courted by the regulator. One of the founders of the Dubai Global Blockchain Council and founding member of the consulting firm JBLV, James Bernard, said that. Some of the biggest businesses from across the world are being invited by VARA to participate in its MVP. Whether it be initiatives using non-fungible tokens, decentralized finance, or exchanges. To develop the best practices and rules of supervision for all of those verticals, Vera will launch discussion groups. Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, the ruler of Dubai, enacted a law that established Vara. Industry leaders highlighted the importance of establishing a separate regulatory body for virtual assets. CEO of Coinmina Talal Taba said that he had extremely positive views on the regulation. It is the first administration to oversee cryptocurrency under a brand new regulatory agency dedicated to it. Mohammed Hans Dast Melchi, the chairman of FTX Mina, states that other other authorities have made an effort to include virtual assets into conventional regulatory regimes. He said that. Vera knows the industry, but they're also quite tough. 
Tim Byun, a worldwide government relations officer at OKX, completely agrees. Byun stated that they are eager to learn about the problems and potential solutions. And the FATF traveling rule is the big elephant for the whole cryptocurrency exchange sector. Currently, debates focus on topics like technological compatibility. Byun argued that not all digital currency service providers are fair. He added that centralized exchanges must exercise caution when deciding to whom to provide information. He believed that by beginning small and having exchanges communicate with one another, regulators might adopt a more proactive approach. Banks are not yet on board. Although the regulator may embrace cryptocurrencies, it takes time for traditional players to adopt them. Getting bank accounts opened has been challenging. The non-objection letters that certain exchanges have received enabling them to run bank accounts come with absurd restrictions, according to Taba. The UAE dirham is the only currency that may be used to open accounts, and other currencies cannot be accepted. Or else they are limited to serving institutional investors rather than retail clients. Taba said that banks could be hoping for the central bank to state clearly that the cryptocurrency sector is legal. The businesses involved in cryptocurrencies are aware of this perception of risk. FTX Minas Chief of Operations, Balsam Danhak, stated. A new sector of the economy is approaching the region. And it is unregulated. A bank's willingness to assume such risk is quite limited. In contrast to the liabilities associated with providing services to crypto firms, Taba claimed that the bank's cost-benefit analysis may not be helpful. According to widespread industry criticism, the region's banking infrastructure was not developed with entrepreneurs in mind. Hever clarified that. Any businessman in the area will say that banking is terrible here. She emphasized that Dubai's banking system is designed for multinationals. Banks operate for profit. Letters of credit or agreements for trade finance from business owners do not bring in billions of dollars. Hever is aware of a couple local banks who are considering selling cryptocurrency to their current clients. Therefore, why would I help my rivals? She lamented banks' hesitation to work with cryptocurrency firms. However, a change is coming. Hever said to Coindesk that she is collaborating with the primary bank of a jurisdiction in the area to provide bank accounts for cryptocurrency firms. Crypto enterprises may be able to obtain bank accounts quickly if they fulfill the requirements. According to Danhack, the UAE's central bank is in contact with the country's other banks. He added that. It has been much simpler to interact with banks throughout the previous nine months if I only consider the last two months. And calls it a work in progress. That's it for our today's video. So, what can you say about the news? Let us know about it in the comments section down below. Thanks for tuning in to CryptoLink. We are always excited to provide you with news and updates about cryptocurrency and if you like this video, please click the like button. See you on the next one.